What is up guys, welcome to a new episode of Fully Modded. We are doing the Duborchi JB700 part of the sports classic. That thing in the back there, um, the Dundreary Landstalker, which I think it was, that was last episode. You can go check that out if you want, the link will be in the description of this video, or you can head to the playlist. So, we're doing this, um, it's pretty much an Aston Martin I'm saying. And it is based off of the James Bond Aston Martin, the very old one. I don't know the exact model. If you want to let me know in the comment section below, you can do that. I'm trying to work out how to fire the guns because I'm pretty sure you can fire them. Um, I'm just, just clicking everything here. I'm pretty sure you can fire them guns on the fucking front. People are probably smashing their heads on the keyboard now. Like, Hit the fucking button. Oh, I can't do it. I give up. Tune in the radio and everything. Fuck it. They're props. They don't work. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they do, though. Um, but yeah, make sure to leave a comment down below. Informing me of how to shoot the guns. Um, and informing me of the exact model of this Duborchi JB700 I'm assuming the JB stands for James Bond somewhere right repair vehicle we got 12 mods so armor 100% race brakes level 4 engine truck horn as always light C on plate yellow on black respray right I was thinking of ultra blue on white rims I really don't know why but I just had a feeling that it would look good on this car so that is what we're going to do. We're going to find out. And ultra blue with a pearlescent of diamond blue, which makes aquafina, I think. I think the color is called. Um, amazing color. And suspension, competition. Like Race the transmission, turbo tuning, wheels. We are just going to stick some cool wheels on it. I would personally say leave the originals, but we're going to go with Endo V1. And I know I'm using them a lot, but currently at the minute, I just absolutely love these rims. In the frost white, custom tyres, bulletproof, and blue tyre smoke to match. Windows, pure black. There we have it. So, not a lot you can actually do to it. You can make it more of a uh, modern looking old car, if that makes sense. Um, but ultra blue with a pearlescent of another blue <laughs> gives you this color, which I think is an amazing color. And this topped onto white rims, um, I think personally is it's like the ultimate combination it cannot be beat it probably can but um surprisingly enough this actually isn't too bad for for power sliding drifting don't exist in the game so i'll just say power sliding um actually really comes out but holds well in its own and accelerates pretty quick which a lot of people say about some drifting cars and um it, Oh my god, I really didn't think this was that good, to be honest. So, I don't think you can... I think you can buy this car online. Um, I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, Rapid GT there. Just thought I'd put it out there. That car has been done. If anyone's like, oh, do that car. Um, that has been done. And um, the Obey Rokoto that I said about in the last episode, when I did the Landstalker, which that thing there, I have actually done it. I went and checked after. Um, but I have actually done it. And I did that one there as well. So they've both been done. You can check them out if you're interested. Um, I'm just browsing for cars on the way. Um, but I'm going to order my car now. Um, because the car for the next episode is going to be um, the, the Stinger. Because I haven't done it yet. And we're going to get it in that. that. Cost a million. Um, so by the time I finish this video... It's been delivered apparently. Um, it's not going to be in there, but 
at the minute in the game currently favorite color combo has got to be these on these white white rims which are the endo v v.1 um, which in real life are uh, rotor grids if anyone likes them rims wasn't a big fan of them but i just seen them around recently and uh, they're, they're, they got that basic look to them but they're enough to know that they ain't uh, stock alloys if that makes sense but um, yeah I hope you enjoyed this video um, there it is the the bond machine um, modernized a bit it's a shame we couldn't really like de-chrome it smooth it out like the core kit that would have been good if we could have got rid of this chrome bumper here and the rear I think it would look a hell of a lot better smooth that it would have looked a little bit maybe from this angle here like like a mark one escort um i'm really i'm really popping them out now but but there it is if you enjoyed this video feel free to leave a like add it to your favorites work and stuff and i will see you in the next one cheers for watching